Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Disney Springs for the very first time in 2023. There's lots of new things to show you, including the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse. And then also I wanna grab lunch at what I believe is the best restaurant to eat in Disney Springs. So we're gonna buy some cookies, eat some food, and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. It is a beautiful January day here at Disney Springs, and I'm so excited to be coming here for 2023. This is our first visit and our first cookie of the year. If you guys don't know, Gideon's is a bakehouse here at Disney Springs, and they have a monthly cookie that they do every single month, and I have tried every single cookie for just about two years now, and I'm so excited to continue doing it for 2023, starting off today with the January cookie of the month. It can get incredibly busy though here at Gideon's Bakehouse and the wait time could be anywhere from 10 minutes to I think the highest I've seen was like five hours. But the good news is if it's a long wait, it's a virtual wait. So you put your name in on the list and then you get to go shopping and they'll text you when it's time to come get the cookies. Looks like it's just about an hour wait and I grabbed myself a menu so I can go over the cookie of the month. And it's funny because uh, earlier I was talking about how I was coming here for just about two years and coming up in January, in just a couple of days, it's gonna be the two year anniversary that Gideon's actually opened. So how cool is that? I still remember the first cookie I ever got was the pistachio toffee. And I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna like these. Here is a look at the menu for January, and I love the artwork. It actually looks really cool. The moon holds strange powers, and so do the pajamas of a girl called Butterscotch. And it's so fun. The, the actual cookie of the month is the cookie butter butterscotch cookie, and then they also have a special cold brew, and it's a cookie butter butterscotch cold brew, and I think we're gonna get both of them. Like I said, we got to try every single cookie of the month in 2022, and hands down, my favorite cookie was the chocolate chip banana bread. I loved it so much. The Kris Kringle comes in at a close second, so I'm excited to see what the butterscotch cookie is going to be like. And then, uh, also, I mentioned before I wanted to go for lunch at my favorite restaurant, Disney Springs, and that is the Boathouse. So we're going to see if we can get in, because I've been craving some of their shrimp. And here we go, it's just about our time. Delicious things await inside. Look at that grand reveal right there. Love it. <laughs> oh, it always smells so good when you first walk in. All right, we have obtained the goods. I got the cookie and the cold brew, so we're gonna dive right on in. All right, here it is, and here is the cookie butter butterscotch cookie. It looks like a good cookie. Lots of like crumbs on top there, or sugar, and I can't wait to drive into the butterscotch cold brew. I think the combination is just gonna be great. Of course, we have to actually break the cookie in half, and it's actually really soft, and it's almost falling apart, but here we go. Look at that. That looks good. So go, well, first bite. This is definitely one of the softest cookies I think I've had at Gideon's before. And you can really taste the butterscotch in there, especially with the butter, because it's butterscotch chocolate chips, I would believe. But I like this a lot. I mean, it's not like a top contender for me, but it's a good start to the new year. One of the reasons I like Gideon's cookies so much is because they uh, aren't like overly sweet. They always have like a good balance and I always love that. Sometimes they're salty and savory. So uh, now we're gonna try it with the coffee. So we're gonna take a, we're gonna take, well first let's try the coffee on its own. Oh yeah, coffee's good. But now we gotta try the combo. Much too good. Believe it or not, I have never had a coffee cookie combination before I tried Gideon's and now I just think coffee goes great with cookies. I think it's awesome and that's why you get to come and try all the flavors. It's hard for me to pick my favorite coffee though, probably the pumpkin. I love pumpkin coffee, um, but I mean overall this is a great start to the year. The cookie is good. Don't get me wrong, it's just not like, you know, one of my top three contenders. Like, not, not, not be in the banana bread, but still a very good, good cookie. I like the way it stacks, too. Look at that. It's like a cookie sandwich. A little cookie sandwich. 
enough of the cookie business. Let's go explore around Disney Springs a little bit. I do want to go to the world of Disney and then also maybe stop in the Amorettes. Oh, and I have to get Gracie Pup Cups. Of course, I have to get her those. Right here is the restaurant I want to bring you guys to uh, a little bit later on, but like I said, I love it here. The Boathouse is one of the best places to actually come eat. In fact, this is one of the busiest restaurants in the country, and it is so good. So we're definitely going to be stopping back a little later on, but I want to explore the springs a little bit. I have a couple of go-to items that I always get at the Boathouse, including the filet sliders, and then they have amazing coconut shrimp, and then a Cortez shrimp that's so good. So that's probably what we're gonna get. I usually stick to the things that I love. As I'm making my way up to the world of Disney, I wanted to stop at Wonder Maid Gourmet Marshmallows to see if they have any unique flavors. They always have cool things in here. Honestly, these are some of the most like kind of clever marshmallows I think I've ever seen. They have peppermint swirl marshmallows. They have a stout beer marshmallow. Look at this. Stout beer, lavender, sugar cookie, gingerbread, key lime pie, bourbon marshmallows, fireball marshmallows, which uh, I don't even know how that would taste actually. They have churro marshmallows, cookies and cream, s'mores. These are actually really, really cool. I mean, they have a lot of them. I'm just showing you some of them with the pictures on. Like they have waffle and syrup over there and, or even gold champagne. I've had a lot of their marshmallows in the past, like the uh, s'mores marshmallow, which was fantastic. I even tried the gold champagne one too. Uh, I didn't see any of them that I would like right now. There was a vine one, which is like that hot wine. It's like very cinnamon spicy, but I'm not too sure how that would be marshmallow wise. I mean, I'd love to get all of these and actually make s'mores with them because that's probably got to be phenomenal, but it's still fun just showing you guys. But now we have made our way up to the world of Disney and we just want to do a little browsing around, do a little shopping, see if they got anything new. I'm sure they're still in the holiday spirit, lots of Christmas stuff, but maybe some new 2023 items that we haven't seen yet. It's honestly funny how much I have come to recognize merchandise in Disney and notice when something's new. Like this Cheshire Cat or the Cheshire Cat. I don't know why I always say Cheshire. It's pretty much Cheshire. But uh, look at this. Is this like a bath mat? Or is it a kitchen mat? I'm not even sure, but I like it. And then they have a Marie wall clock right here too. That's actually really nifty. I wonder how much the wall clock is. $59.99 for that. Holy moly. I wonder how much the rug is though. I mean, that's interesting. I don't know where I would put it. Maybe somewhere in my new house, but I don't see any prices for it. There's not a tag on there. It's still very interesting though. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, oh, oh. $34.99. So the gigantic rug is cheaper than the wall cat. It also looks like they have tons of the Disney 100 items, including the Starbucks drink cup right here. I don't even know what this is. Oh. This is $50. These are more expensive than the Marie clock and the, uh, the rug itself. And then they got some ornaments and some hats. I kind of like the hat a little bit. It's kind of fancy. Look at Mickey. He, uh, he does look very fancy for the 100th. I have to say, I wasn't the biggest fan of the 50th anniversary merchandise. I just didn't like the coloring with it. The 100 years looks a little bit better. I'm gonna wait and see as they put out more stuff because, I mean, they're still releasing 50th anniversary stuff. Like, it's been a, like, a long, like, what, 15 months, I feel like, 14 months or whatever it's been. I really do hope that there is a meet and greet with Mickey dressed up like this, though, because I think that would be so cool looking. It actually reminds me of Epcot a little bit. Oh, Minnie, too. Look at that. They have the little figurines and then the, the little lounge fly here. I do like it a little bit. Take a look at this. It looks like we got a little sale going on. The 50th anniversary castle, which used to be like $125, they're selling for $75. And the monorail set. This is actually selling for $75 too. And that used to be $125. So I wonder what the discount would be with my annual pass. I mean, that's super cheap. 
I kind of considered getting that Disney 100 hat because I'm sure of most of you guys heard on my New Year's Eve video I kind of want to switch up my look for 2023 a little bit I've been wearing a lot more baseball caps instead of my regular fedora and uh, I think that's kind of cool so maybe I might get it but I'm gonna wait and see because they might come up with a better Disney 100 hat like I said they're gonna be releasing stuff throughout the whole entire year and the hats that I'm wearing now these are from shoplbv.com this is uh, Duck Donald and the other one I was wearing the other night was Mouse Mickey and that's Marie and Chris's uh, shop and I kind of like these I like the flat brim ones I think they're really cool looking and of course I'll still be wearing the Roosevelt's I got a Guardians of the Galaxy one on right now look at Groot this one is really fancy <laughs> Now that we've done some shopping, I think it's time to make our way back down to the boathouse and uh, grab ourselves something to eat. Super crowded right here though, holy moly. I think it's all the popularity of the Lego Dragon. He definitely makes everyone wanna stop and get photos of him though. Look at that. How do they keep it clean? I mean, you can see like a little bit of it, like kind of like the color changing there, but like they do a good job keeping this dragon clean. I don't have a reservation for the boathouse, so I'm gonna try sitting at the bar or on the outside because that's uh, first come, first serve, and it's really beautiful back there. It's a perfect day to dine outside. Like I mentioned before, the Boathouse is one of the busiest restaurants in the country. And here are some of their stats. For 2022, it looks like they ranked uh, number two. Number two! And they have so much meals served, almost a million. Annual sales is almost 40 million. That is so crazy. And we're going to go eat here. I bet you 2023, they're going to take the number one spot. I mean, it's just inevitable. It's so cool here, and I absolutely love it. Most people don't even realize how good the food is here because they're distracted by the Ampia cars that they have out front. And we've done those before in the past. I took my mom and sister on it. But, like, that's the first thing you notice when you walk by is this car is just driving straight into the water. Or in this case, you can see the car driving out of the water. Look at this. It's actually going to drive right out of the water and drive up here. Here it comes. It's so nifty. Reminds me of James Bond. Just like I thought, the outdoor dock is uh, first come, first serve. So we're just gonna walk right down, grab a table, and someone's gonna come up and take care of us. Look at how beautiful it is to dine out here. I love it so much. You got all the boats and the ducks. You get to watch the sunset. This is really nice. Oh, look at all the boats going by. This is a good time right here. A good time, I tell you. I can honestly tell you this restaurant is probably my most visited restaurant and Disney property. I come here all the time. In fact, I had my birthday party here this past year. My friends threw me a big surprise party because they knew how much I loved it here and it was amazing. So I'm so happy that I'm coming here and showing you guys today because a lot of times I don't make videos. I just kind of enjoy my days off and just kind of hang out and do the things I normally would do. Like It's kind of funny, but like the things I normally would do when I'm not making a video are the things that I do when I make videos. I always thought that it would be so cool if you can actually eat in some of these boats though. Like look at this boat right here. How cool would it be if they just had like a little step up and you actually sit down and you eat kind of like sci-fi dine-in? This is a fancy boat. Holy moly. Except for it's got some cocky poopy over there. Something on the uh, on the seat there. But it's a very fancy boat. I want to get a boat. I want to go on a boat. What are these for? What are these things for? Are these like child harnesses? <laughs> Here is a look at the menu. And like I said, I already know what I want. My go-to is the filet sliders right here. And they're only $16. And you can actually order one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm only going to order one of them. And it's $8. And then I'm going to upgrade the fries to the truffle fries. And then also I'm going to get the hand-breaded coconut shrimp. Which is like a little appetizer. It's very good. And then I'm going to get one Cortez shrimp. Wild-caught Sea of Cortez shrimp. They're $4.25 a piece. But... This menu is massive. They have tons of the Gibson Heritage Steaks, $59 for the filet, $47 for the boneless ribeye. Lots of good stuff. I love it though. 
it's just a beautiful night to hang out on the water now I do have to say if you plan on eating here and if you come out to the boat dock itself you are on a boat dock like right now I'm on a boat dock so it does get a little choppy it moves around a little bit if you get motion sick there are seating like there's seating up on top and where it's more stationary but down here is first come first serve those ones you actually have to put your name in and when I checked there wasn't much of a wait but still I'd rather sit down here because I, I like it a lot more this boat right here is the globe and it's from 1951 look at some more bird poop though in there Oh, you see a lot of bird poop in there. Holy moly. The birds are having a field day. Oh, and it's rotting out on the bottom there. That's a little sad. I mean, it's old though, 1951. But I wouldn't trust it in the water. I don't think it's actually in the water though. It looks like it's just standing there. I always knew you can add on a slider for $8, but I didn't know you can get just one of them. Like $8 for this little meal right here is gonna be the best value you will find on property. I cannot wait to show you. Like, this is incredible. All right, looks like some of the food has come out already. First up is the slider, the filet slider. Look at that, that's a filet right there. And then some truffle fries. These fries are amazing. I love this so much. And this whole thing was just $8. And then here is the coconut shrimp. You get just about six shrimp. And these are really good shrimp. And also, I have one more thing that I got. I got the Sea of Cortez shrimp. Now, these are massive, and these are cold. It comes from the raw bar. I think they're going to bring it right now, but that is one of the best shrimps I've ever had in my life. All right, let's dive on in to the filet slider first. Look at this. Nothing on here, just some nice butter and steak. Just the way that it is. So good. Honestly, there is not a better meal in Walt Disney World for under $10. If you guys know of something, let me know in the comments, but you can't beat this. No way. And then here comes my uh, little uh, Cortez shrimp. Look at the size of this shrimp. This is $4 for this shrimp, but it is massive. That is huge. Look at it compared to this shrimp. This is one of the, the, the coconut shrimps, and then that is the Cortez shrimp. That's impressive, isn't it? The reason I like the coconut shrimp here is because it's hand breaded and it's not like overly breaded either. It's very good. The coconut is very tasty and I love it. It's very good coconut shrimp. Probably the best coconut shrimp I've ever had. All right, enough of the coconut shrimp. Let's get to this bad boy right here. <laughs> I'm just always so impressed with this. And it's so funny because it goes all the way down to the tail. Like they take out that outside. So we're just gonna just eat it. <laughs> This has such a crazy texture. This was uh, this is almost the same price as my whole entire filet sliders meal there. Just this one shrimp, but it is so good. Totally worth $4.25. I would actually get like four of them. It'd be a nice little like uh, under $20 meal. Probably would get full off of it. Like I said, it's a lot. I mean, it's it's so big and it's so good. The food was absolutely amazing and now it's starting to get dark out and they turn these nice little blue lights on by the water so it looks really cool and uh, my waiter brought over a little drink for me and it's the duck duck raz. Look at that. Isn't that so fancy? Look at a little duck on there. This is one of the boathouse's signature drinks here and you get to keep the duck. A little duck duck rise and it's very fancy too and trust me you drink a couple of these they'll creep up on you fast so cheers to the boathouse Ooh, so good seriously just take a look at how beautiful this sunset is right now wow this could be a picture and I would put it on my fridge because it's just beautiful. I can't even get over it. And you can see the boats are actually... Oh, one boat is coming down and the other boat is coming up. Oh, wow. This is so cool that this is happening right now. Look at that. That is so awesome. I love doing the boats here. They are incredible. 
what can I say? I love the boathouse. And now I gotta start making my way over to Sprinkles. I don't wanna forget about getting Gracie her little doggy uh, pup cakes. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what else, what's got, what else is going on down at the Springs. It's so funny how there's almost nobody inside Sprinkles but a line to use the cupcake ATM. I mean, I like the ATM too, but I'd rather just walk in and order the cupcakes and then leave. Normally, I don't look to see what the flavors are, but they have some really good ones. A pop top, a pop tart, a pop top, a part tart, <laughs> a part tart, a pop tart, and it actually comes with a little pop tart on top of it. Oh, of course, the sprinkle is like the go to, but they have some good ones salted caramel, triple cinnamon, lemon blueberry. But we're looking for where's she at? That's frosting. Oh, there we go. A nice three pack. That's all we need today. There we go, the pup cakes have been obtained. And we'll give her one when we get home so you guys can see, but she loves these. They're so cool. Something that is new, Sosa Family Cigar Company right here. This is the cigar shop right next to AMC is actually closing. Today is the last day that it's open. It's closing uh, and they've been here for 25 years. Look at this, it's so busy in here. Last day if you ever wanna get a cigar at Disney Springs. Looks like a lot of people are smoking them today. It's actually crazy to think. 25 years the cigar company has been here. Like this is back Pleasure Island days. And I don't know what I'm gonna feel like when I walk to the movie theater again and not smell the cigars when I walk by. I mean, it's pretty pungent. Like when you walk by, you can smell cigars basically all, especially tonight because it's crowded in there. Like they're going out, tonight is the last night and there is a line to get in there, it's a party. Seriously, just look at it in there. <laughs> I mean, I always thought it was kind of crazy that it was here in Disney Springs, but I don't know what they're gonna put in there. Maybe they'll put another soccer store or maybe a lids, some hat store maybe. I'm sure it's not cheap to have like a store inside Disney Springs. So they were probably paying a lot of money to actually sell cigars there. I'm sure Disney didn't want it there either, but they were probably getting by by selling packs of cigarettes. They do, they do sell cigarettes in there too. But um, I'm sure they're like really jacked up like, you know, 15, $20 a pack probably. And that's probably how they survived this long. And maybe things are just uh, not going so good or maybe Disney decided to end the, the, the relationship. But like I said, 25 years. Something else that's pretty shocking is the line of people waiting to get into Zara because they're actually doing a sale. And look at the, the line is going all the way around the building. I've never shopped here before, but it looks like it must be a really good sale. Now I guess maybe we should just start heading home. Go home, give Gracie her little pup cake and uh, settle in for the night. I feel like, you know, we usually get a lot more done at Disney Springs. I thought there would be a lot more newer things, but I guess they're gonna wait a couple of days after, like into January. Disney Springs is very strange with that. Gideon's is the only one that's prompt at like doing their specials or monthly things, because they always do it the first of the month. Uh, the rest of the time, it's always like five or six days afterwards, which I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. So we'll come back and see if anything else is going on. Now we're just gonna go home and like I said, Give Gracie her little cupcake. For the longest time, I've only ever parked in Orange Garage because that's the way I would drive to go home. And now, it's a tale of two cities. Now I'm heading to Lawn Garage. Now this is my garage. This is gonna be the one that I come to all the time. I don't think I like it so much. It seems very crowded and busier over on Lawn Garage. I'm Team Orange Garage at heart, but this is the way. In a shock twist of events, I decided to stop at Animal Kingdom and do a last minute ride on Expedition Everest. It's only 20 minutes until the park closes, so I think we have enough time to make it over there. But look at the tree of life coming awake right now. What a timing. It's so awesome to just be like, you know what? Let's just stop in the Animal Kingdom and go on Expedition Everest real quick. It's on the way home. I love that feeling. You know, I could really laugh at myself if I get all the way over there and then find out the ride is down. 
Because, you know, I've been having tough luck with riding Expedition Everest recently. But that would be my luck. Honestly, I wouldn't be upset. I think it would just be so funny. I don't think so, though. I can hear the screams. I see it going. Looks like we are all clear and it's only a 15 minute wait, so we're just going for it. Oh, the music is nice. I think everyone that's in line now are just people that are hopping off the ride and they're running back through. Gotta ring the bells. I did good there. There we go. Look at that, we walked right on. I think we're gonna wait for front row though. I think front row is the way to be. Here it comes, our night train. I love riding Expedition Everest at night. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at that view. Oh boy. There we go, my first ride of 2023. And I finally got to ride Expedition Everest. I mean, it was really quick. Like I got here and got over here with like just two minutes to spare. So I'm, I'm real lucky, now the park's closed. Now we have to leave. Now we're going home, gonna go see her pup cup. There she is, what are you doing? Woohoo! guess what I got for you? I got pup cakes, yes? Look, she smells the bag already. She's like, what's going on in there, dad? What's in there, huh? Look at. Oh, hoo hoo. Huh, you want one right now? You want one now? Look at that butt wiggle. <laughs> Look at you. Hold on. <gasps> you want this? Huh? Sit. Good girl. You ready? Here you go. We'll put it down here. Here. Gotta flip it over. Always. Look at you. You're a good baby. Yes, you are. Yes. Look at that cupcake. Doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. It was a nice little day out at Disney Springs. We got to try the cookie of the month. Got to go to the boathouse and do some shopping. I might go back and get that hat. I kind of did like it. But uh, yeah, the boathouse was amazing. The cookie was good. I love coming out and going to these places. I plan on hitting up most of the parks for the next couple of week. Uh, next couple of week. <laughs> and uh, just checking out everything. It's 2023, I'm so excited. There's a lot to do, a lot of big things, a lot of big trips that we're gonna be going on. I can't wait to share with you guys. Like I'm going places I never thought I would ever go in my life, and I'm so excited for that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.